I was driving along a highway, full speed. Two highways intersected. The semi was going full speed. I T-boned him, went under his trailer, got pulled along for a while until he realized that he was he had someone stuck under him and I was just in shock and wasn't sure exactly uh, what was going on or what was happening at the time. I had a family member come in and uh, knock on the door and kind of just was in shock as well to ask, just let me know that Amanda had just been in an accident. We first got the call for Amanda's accident that it was a vehicle that uh, hit a potato truck. We were initially told that there was one patient um, possibly entrapped and at that time we were just thinking the worst any time a vehicle hits a big vehicle like a potato truck um, there could be severe injuries. Uh, when they started explaining the injuries to us it was uh, we honestly weren't hundred percent sure what to even think at the time there was they weren't giving they were giving her as like a 50-50 during some of the time they're dealing with how extensive some of her injuries were so uh, at the time we were just uh, hoping and, and just praying for the best that everything would, uh, would turn out all right for her. When we first arrived, uh, Amanda, it took about an hour and a half for them to get her out of the vehicle. Um, when she was still trapped inside, all we heard is moaning. So we knew at that time she uh, most likely had a head injury, um, definitely some chest and extremity trauma as well. And um, we knew we had to get her um, into the Health Sciences Centre pretty quickly. Well, yeah, when I, when I look at those photos, I, the, the first thing you notice or the, that you would think of is how can somebody even possibly survive something like that with the amount of wreckage, just the way the vehicle was looked after the accident. It was, uh, brings a lot of emotion to me to see actually these pictures, knowing that my wife was inside of that vehicle. Initially, I didn't remember anything about anyone and I just had to learn how to think again and then and I had to learn to walk and eat and everything again. If stars wouldn't have been there that day, uh, I'm pretty sure my life would have been changed drastically. Uh, I'm pretty certain that I'd probably be a single dad right now, just my daughter. What STARS has done is saved my, my wife's life and w without them, uh, she would have never been able to get to the, to the hospital in, in the time that needed to be. Well, the first of many angels that God sent to me was STARS and just in my situation and many others that I've heard of, like without them, we wouldn't have made it. If it hadn't been for them, I wouldn't be around and I would have a little girl without a mom. And I had a, another little boy a couple years later and he wouldn't be here and it was all because of stars. <laughs>